Long considered to be one of the four PAL exclusive N64 titles, recent findings have concluded that F1 Racing Championship did indeed see a very limited release outside of Europe. Thanks to Tiago from Sao Paulo for hitting me up on my Facebook page with these screenshots and a magazine photo which states that although the NTSC version of the game had indeed been cancelled, the Brazilian version was still due to be released. And huge pops to him for snagging a complete inbox version of this very hard and elusive title. For many of you watching though, that is likely to be the most interesting part of this video. Formula 1 games have often struggled outside of Europe to sell, and even in Europe they can hardly shoot up the charts bar one or two exceptions. So bringing out a Formula 1 racing game in late 2000 was always going to be a struggle. Landing on store shelves in August of 2000 came F1 Racing Championship, developed by Ubisoft and eventually published by Video System after some confusion over the international distribution was cleared up. Built on an, an enhanced Monaco Grand Prix engine, the game features 16 tracks including the newest F1 edition at the time which was Sepang and also it was the first Formula 1 title to feature the Indianapolis circuit. As Monaco Grand Prix didn't have the F1 license, Ubisoft quickly realised that for many simulation fans this was a must and so after finally securing the rights this game features the full F1 license which includes the teams, drivers and authentic car models including the decals. As we all know a strong license will only take a game so far and so the studio were also promising fantastic visuals with expansion pack support early on in the game's development and also individual opponent AI which would have made this one of the most realistic and challenging racing games ever to be released on the console. The problem was, a year prior to this game's release, F1 World Grand Prix 2 was released, which along with its predecessor had set the bar exceptionally high in terms of Formula 1 racing games on the N64. Both games had scored highly and had won over even casual racing fans with its varied game modes and deep game engine. Realising that F1 Racing Championship needed to reach a more casual audience, the studio put two distinct modes into the game which are arcade and simulation. And as you'd expect, the arcade mode takes away much of the realism in the game, but it makes it much easier to pick up and play for the casual Formula 1 fan. The simulation mode, on the other hand, gives you full control over your setup, and so serious racing game fans will be able to tinker with your drive before hitting the tarmac. The problem is, however, is that the game doesn't seem to do either mode particularly well. There are better alternatives for both types of gamer, fans wanting a more casual Formula 1 racing game could delve into Monaco Grand Prix for example. Those wanting a more serious and realistic racing game would be much better suited to playing F1 Grand Prix 1 or 2. Saying that, if you fancy playing this game today, the PlayStation 2, Dreamcast or PC version would be much more recommended by me. Graphically the game looks quite nice. You have some nice presentation in terms of the track flyovers and the intro sequence is flashy and there are some excellent and subtle things to notice when you're actually racing. For example, if you go onto the grass, your tyres become green for a short period until the dirt and grass wear off and the lighting effects on the car really do look fantastic. I also like how damage to your car is shown in real terms in game. You'll see parts of other cars fly off after crashes and the areas of damage do make an impact on the game's strategy. You'll need to balance pit stops with working through a damaged car in the simulation mode and so there is a good level of depth to be experienced. The main problem though is that with so much attention being placed into the car models, the backgrounds all come across a little too low res. Although the game screen shows the expansion pack support right off the bat, it actually seems to do nothing at all in the game. The frame rate is thankfully consistent and it's mostly locked and the textures don't seem to have a bump with or without the expansion pack. It was rumoured that the game doesn't actually make any use of the expansion pack whatsoever and although it shows expansion pack detected on the intro screen, it's there for cosmetic purposes. Now I haven't been able to verify this but from playing the game with and without it I cannot see any noticeable improvements. One thing that I did love is that the game's audio is limited but what is here is done very well. The car sounds excellent and although the generic background music takes away from the monotonous engine noises, I think many will opt to turn it off in the game options. Crashes have a nice real deep richness to the sound 
and the only time I experience some terrible audio in the game is when you enter the pit area because of the effects they all sound way too tinny and they have a dreadful rattle to them. As you'd expect the game can also be played with a friend but with no four player support you're likely to have no more than a few races here before realising you could be doing much more with your life. If you're both F1 fans however you may get a kick out of picking rival drivers from back in the day or even teammates and attempting to assist each other when racing. The game's controls too cannot really be faulted. The analogue stick gives you great precision when racing and with race assist turned on, like the race line, you'll find that this is one of the easier racing games to get into but it will take you some time to master if you find that you actually enjoy this game. The biggest problem for me though is that this game is just an okay title. It doesn't really excel in many areas and there's maybe one or two other racing titles on the system that do a much better job of presenting and giving you a Formula 1 experience. I don't think many of you will have had this game back in the day and so I'd love to know what you make of it. Perhaps you played it on an emulator to see what the region exclusive title was like or perhaps you picked up a cheap import copy from the PAL region. Let me know your thoughts, comments and feelings down below and until next time.